Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Split with me, Fujit. Hello. Some tanks have playstyles that are not what you may think they should be. And one such tank is that of the FV4005, colloquially known as the Shit Barn. Now I love the FV4005. I think it's a really great tank and it actually offers a lot of possibilities and different playstyles. Yeah, okay, it's a TD with a really thin turret that a good HE shell would decimate in an instant. But it does have a nice auto-loading gun and a pretty decent turn of speed. Most TDs are support guns and the FV is no different in that respect. But it's not a camp at the back kind of support gun. In fact, many TD players feel that they have little choice but to sit in the spawn or on top of a hill near the spawn and snipe. And for certain TDs, that is their playstyle. I mean, think along the lines of the ISU 152. The FV, however, doesn't really like to sit at the back sniping. In fact, it likes to be rather aggressive. And I find that you generally get more success from this tank's capabilities if you are more second line rather than total support from the rear. I find that the FV playstyle is more akin to that of the AMX 50B. What? I hear you shout. The 50B is a heavy tank and totally not like the FV. And on paper, you would be correct. But in real terms, the 50B and the FV share a lot of similar characteristics. Both are big, tall autoloaders with eye out for damage. Both are pretty mobile and both have a thin turret that just loves HE shells. Now with that in mind, I generally play my FV along the same lines as I play the 50B. More of a second line support, heavy type tank. And you know what? It works for me. Now I'm not saying that such tactics will work for everyone. But those of you who are competent in a 50B may find that using a similar playstyle with the FV could actually work for you, assuming you've got an FV of course. So let's have a look at a couple of games in the FV to try and understand my point here. So here we are on New Bay. As you can see, we're quite far forward. We've already taken a couple of pop shots at the tanks going up, but now we're now we're going to rush up and we're going to offer some support. And this is where it stops being more of a TD and more of a second line support heavy. Pretty much like a 50B. Yeah, I got caught up there. I don't know how I managed to get over there, but I did. So the thing with this tank, pretty much like the 50B, it's got a really good high alpha gun. And it can put a lot of pain down very quickly. It's got pretty decent mobility, as I said. Okay, it has got an ultra thin turret. And as I also said, HE loves it. And unlike the 50B, the front part of the turret is not that strong. It is slightly taller, but not that much. And if you look at the 50B, you can pen those hatches. What I'm trying to say about this tank in the 50B is that you can be quite aggressive bully in this thing when the need arises. I mean, it's not front line, front line. But once you get used to its reload, and you, you know, like a 50B, you really can play it like that, and you can have some great success. Okay, we only did shy of 3k damage here, but that wasn't the idea. The idea was to put pressure on the enemy and really push it forward, which we did. And as you can see, I mean, we did some decent damage. Now, in this second game here, we're on Canyon, and... Good 50B players don't go rushing headlong in. They tend to wait at the back and they tend to be more like a second line support tank. Now, I know that they're gonna send their mediums to the middle because that's what mediums do nowadays. That's why I've hung back here in the spawn waiting for them to pop over that side. I've noticed recently that a lot of the teams like to go towards the A cap with their heavies so I'm mindful that they're going to come down there. I'm going to reload the gun. And I'm pretty much... I mean, I would play a 50B similar to this, if I'm being honest. We've got tanks presenting. And whilst you could argue that, but you're sat at the back in the spawn. 
I am, but I'm a second line support. And you will see what I mean about that in a moment. Because there are the majority of their tanks. And that's what I was expecting. I was expecting the majority of their tanks to come round. And, you know, we're losing hit points rapidly here as a team. But we've got good positions. And I'm, I, I'm just going to wait for them to present. Because they're going to push through onto our spawn eventually. I fluff this shot here on the 50B because I'm a bit of a muppet. Um, but I know the IS-4 is going to present eventually. They are going to push around into our spawn. So I'm just going to sit here and wait it out. Bang, there goes one shot into the IS-4. Come back around because I'm really worried about the 50B. Their 50B is going to push down. He's going to be pretty exposed, to be honest with you. Can't pin it. There we go. Here comes the 50B now. So I'm going to back away. And I'm just going to let them come into the spawn. Now, as I said, I would do this if I was in a 50B. Because it's got a long load time. And it has got pretty thin armor, the 50B. So this is no different as I, I would play a 50B. I would be suckering the tanks round. Okay, the FV does have a longish load time. But once you've got that, look at this. I mean, you can just pummel the enemy. And it, quite nicely at, at that... Okay, I'm not going to get this shot in because he's angled nicely. And the only thing I've got is the driver's hatch, which I can't pen unless I load APCR. And I, I generally don't like playing with uh, AP, um, APCR. The reason being is because uh, I'm trying to improve my own um, aiming, to be honest with you. I mean, this is just a bad move by me. The Conway's there, he is presenting, but I just hadn't loaded in time because my ammo, my load is dead. But I get a decent shot into him. I mean, it's pretty over now, this game. This is now going to allow me to push forward, as I'm going to do. I mean, we've got the Conway there, and we've got the T-54. I'm not going to be able to get to either of them. But the point remains the same. I'm playing the tank in a similar style to that of an AMX 50B. So, give it a go. See how you get on with it. See if that second line support works for you. Anyway, I've been fooded. That's been my video on how to play, or how I play, the FV4005. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.